Hello. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're here because you want to lose weight. And I have the cure. When I say cure, it stands for changing under real expectations. What you'll need to do is set some goals of an ideal weight or where you're trying to be healthy. And you can change under real expectations. Be true to yourself. Be honest with yourself. And anything is possible. Speak your truth. So now, let's get started. Let's lose some weight. I believe in you. Sit back and relax. Let your eyes close and allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself to relax physically. Allow yourself to relax mentally more and more. Every breath helping you feel calmer. Every breath helping you feel more relaxed. Any outside sounds will not affect you or disturb you. Any sound outside will help you feel more calm and help you feel more relaxed. Just listening to the sounds around you will help you feel more calm and more relaxed. In a few moments, I'm going to help you relax just a little bit more. In a few moments, I will count down from 10 to 1. With each number I count down from 10 to 1, you will feel <clears throat> more and more relaxed. Each number I count from 10 down to 1, you will feel calmer and calmer. And that's not because I say so. It's simply because it's nature of the human mind to enjoy these wonderful levels of physical and mental relaxation. Because it feels, it feels so good. Relaxing physically, it feels so good. It feels good relaxing mentally. Just more and more. So 10. And beginning now to relax physically and mentally, just more and more. Nine, drifting deeper and deeper into this wonderful state of mental and physical relaxation. Eight, the muscles in your body, the nerves, the fibers of your body, from the top of your head down to the very tips of your toes are relaxing more and more. Seven, and as you feel, and as you become more relaxed, you continue to feel and continue to become calmer and calmer. And six, in your mind and your body, your mind and your body continuing to relax, physically more and more. Continue to relax mentally more with each breath. Five, and it feels so good. It just feels so good. It feels so good taking the time to relax physically. It just feels good. It feels so good to take this time to mentally relax as well. And four. Four now drifts you down to three. And you drift deeper and deeper and calmer and calmer. Because there is nothing. There is just nothing at this moment in time. Nothing of importance to you except to relax. Physically, there's nothing more important to you at this moment than to relax physically and mentally. Two, calmer still, more relaxed. Just feeling, just becoming calmer, just feeling, and just becoming more relaxed with each breath. And one, with every breath, each and every breath you exhale, relaxes you just more and more. Every breath helps you feel calmer and calmer. And from this moment on every breath, each and every breath that you exhale relaxes you more and more. From this moment on, each and every breath that you exhale helps you feel, helps you just be more calm and relaxed. And from this moment on, doing those things which you know inside your mind will help you reach your ideal weight, doing those things feeling completely normal and completely natural for you in every way possible. And this suggestion and this idea now grows stronger inside your mind. This suggestion and this idea becomes more and more real for you. Not because I say so, but because it's the suggestion that you want in your life. And because it's the suggestion that you want to do in your life, 
it does now mean that doing those things which you know inside your mind will help you reach your ideal weight. Now, do you just feel easy and completely natural for you in every way possible? And as you now continue to relax physically, and as you now continue to relax mentally, just more and more with every breath, your wonderful unconscious mind, the part of your mind that knows everything about you, the part of your mind that can easily and naturally guide you towards your ideal weight, now begins to become open. Open to the wonderful suggestions that you are going to receive today. So continue to relax more and more now with every breath. And as you continue to relax just more and more with every breath, I'm going to share with you the four secrets to weight loss success. And that very first secret to weight loss success is to know exactly what it is you want. Far too many people, when they think about losing weight, and they think about the reasons they want to lose weight, far too many people focus on the negative aspects. People think of themselves that they don't want to be overweight anymore. They don't want to be unhealthy. Don't want to be in such a such size of clothing. It's important with those regards to your weight that you know and you focus on all the reasons why you want to be a certain size. By focusing on the why, you'll stay completely motivated and you'll stay determined. So begin now to think. Think in your mind the reasons why you want to be such and such a size, such and such a weight. Is it for that party, that wedding you have coming up? Is it to be able to go in the clothing department and choose the clothes that you want to wear? Do you want to be a certain size? Do you want to be a certain weight? Is it to be healthier? To feel fitter in yourself? Or is it to feel in order to feel more confident? More comfortable in yourself? Just spend a few moments now thinking about the reasons why you want to be a certain size. Or why you want to be a certain weight. Think about these reasons in a positive sense. It's more important that when you're striving for a goal, you focus on the reasons why. And those reasons why have to be more than just a number more than just the size. If you focus just on the number, if you focus just on the size, then you might feel motivated at first, but that motivation will drain away. You want to be such and such a size, such and such a weight, for the things that being such a size and being such a weight is going to give you. And by focusing on those wonderful positive benefits, you'll stay motivated, you'll stay determined, and you'll stay completely focused. Now, spend some time thinking about those reasons why. I'll give you a few moments to do so. Good. And you can just continue over the next few days to build upon that list. The reasons why you want to be such a size, such a weight. And that's the first secret to weight loss success. Knowing exactly what you want. But knowing what you want in a positive sense. The second secret to weight loss success is to use your imagination. Imagine yourself being at that weight. Imagine yourself wearing those clothes. Imagine yourself being and feeling confident. Because one of the things your imagination is, every time you imagine something, you're actually giving your unconscious mind a blueprint of how you want to be. And once your unconscious mind has got that positive blueprint on how you want to be, your unconscious mind will then begin to move towards that blueprint and that losing weight will just seem easy and completely natural in every way possible. As I said, your imagination to your unconscious mind is real. Your unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between something real and something imagined. And I'll give you an example of what I mean by this. Let's imagine now in front of you are two people. And these two people are about to go away somewhere on vacation. And the first person doesn't have a fear of flying. The second person has a total fear of flying. So let's imagine if we could, if we could connect a cable that goes from each person's brain to a TV. So we could watch what's going on inside that person's mind. The first person, who doesn't have a fear of flying, on their TV screen, we're actually seeing the destination. This person is thinking about the place they're going to visit. Maybe they're imagining and seeing themselves on that beach, doing such and such a thing. And because this person uses their imagination in a positive manner, when they get onto that plane, they feel completely calm, completely relaxed in every way possible. And that's because their unconscious mind knows that they're going to arrive at their destination. But now, let's compare that to the second person who has the fear of flying. On their TV screen, we're not seeing very much of the destination. What we're actually viewing is the journey. It's not a pretty one. This person inside their mind is playing those negative images in their mind, thinking and imagining things going wrong on that plane. 
And because they do so, they begin to feed their unconscious mind the idea of flying is dangerous, when in fact, flying is one of the safest modes of transportation. But their unconscious mind, all it knows is flying is dangerous. And then, when the person then begins to go away on vacation, and they think about getting on a plane, their unconscious mind, because it wants to protect them, the person's unconscious mind then gives that person those fears and anxieties as a warning. So by imagining yourself how you want to be, imagining yourself wearing those clothes, imagining yourself being and feeling confident, you then begin to send an idea to your unconscious mind that you truly are at the weight you want to be. And when your unconscious mind begins to follow this blueprint, your unconscious mind then begins to move towards your ideal weight. So now, let's use your imagination. I want you to now imagine yourself being at your ideal weight. Imagine yourself maybe putting on an item of clothing, looking at yourself in the mirror, or maybe imagine other people commenting on how good you look. Spend a few moments and actually imagine yourself being at your ideal weight. I'll give you a few moments to do so. And again, you can keep continuing to use your imagination in this wonderful positive manner. Imagine yourself being at your ideal weight, beginning then to give your unconscious mind a wonderful positive blueprint. And that's the second secret to weight loss success. The third secret of weight loss success is to ensure that your self-talk, the things that you say to yourself, the things that you say to other people, matches the outcome that you're striving for. Your self-talk is very important. In a sense, you can think of your self-talk, you can think of yourself as having two aspects. The first aspect of yourself is the thinker. Everybody thinks, and there's no limit to what you can think. You can think that you're overweight, you can think that you have a sweet tooth, you can think that you're addicted to fatty foods, there is no limit to what you can think. But it's important what you do think matches the outcomes that you're striving for. Making sure your thoughts are positive, telling yourself that you're in control of food, telling yourself that you exercise on a regular basis. It's important that the things you do to tell yourself on a regular basis are positive and match those outcomes that you are striving for. And as I said, everybody thinks. There is a thinker inside of you. And another aspect that you also have inside of you is the aspect called the prover. And that proving part of you only has one job, and that's to prove what you think is to be true. So if you have those thoughts that you have a sweet tooth, the prover in you will just prove to you that you have a sweet tooth, and you will have a sweet tooth. But if you start to have those wonderful positive thoughts that you are in complete control of food, the prover in you will just prove to you that you are in complete control of food, and you will be in complete control of food. From this moment on, your thoughts do now just become more and more positive each and every day. And that's the third secret of weight loss success, ensuring that your self-talk is positive, ensuring that your self-talk matches the outcomes that you are striving for. The fourth and final secret of weight loss success is each and every day doing those things which you know inside your mind will move you towards your ideal weight. Think about weight loss very much like playing a board game. You might think, well, what does a board game have to do with losing weight and what does it have in common? But these two things have a lot in common. Because just like playing a board game, you know what you want. You know what size you want to be, you know the weight you want to be, and just like playing a board game, you want to win. You want to get to the end. And then you roll the dice. The dice might land on number four, and you have to move those four spaces forward. Maybe like one of those weeks during which your weight did decrease. You're moving towards your goal. You're moving towards your ideal weight. You feel good in yourself. You feel motivated. You feel confident and you have that strong belief that you're going to reach your target. You then roll the dice again, and this time it lands on three. And again, you move another three spaces forward, another three spaces closer towards where you want to be. Again, you feel good, you feel motivated, you feel confident, and that belief that you're going to reach your ideal weight grows even stronger. You then roll the dice again. This time, it might land on number two. And as you move two spaces forward, Again, you feel good because you're moving towards your goal. But as you look down, you realize that you might have landed on a square that says miss a turn. In a sense, moving towards your ideal weight can be quite similar to landing on one of these squares that says miss a turn. You might have one of those weeks where your weight stays the same. And if you get one of those weeks, or even a couple of weeks where your weight stays the same, it's important that you focus on the bigger picture. It's important that you focus on how far you've traveled, how much closer you are towards your goal not allowing that little setback to knock you off your course, staying motivated and staying completely determined. Because you roll the dice again, 
it lands on four, and again you're making progress. Again, moving once again towards your ideal weight, towards where you want to be. You soon forget about that time you missed a turn. You feel good because you feel closer to where you want to be. You then roll the dice again. Maybe this time it lands on five, and you move five spaces forward. But this time, you might land on a square that says go back two spaces. Again, you feel annoyed because you have to go back two spaces. And again, when moving towards your ideal weight, yes, you will have one of those weeks. Or a couple one of those weeks where your weight increases a little bit. And if it does happen to you, it's important that you stay focused. It's important that you keep the goal in the forefront of your mind. Because if you keep that goal in the forefront of your mind, you'll overcome this setback. You'll continue the journey. You'll keep rolling the dice, moving forward, being focused on the goal, and you'll reach that goal. You'll feel good in yourself. You'll feel that wonderful sense of achievement. You'll feel good knowing that yes, along the way you've had some setbacks, but you stayed motivated. You stayed determined. You stayed completely focused. And that's the fourth step, is keeping yourself motivated. To keep doing those things that you know will help you reach your ideal weight. To stay motivated during those setbacks. To keep your eyes on the goal. And those are the four keys to real weight loss success. The first real secret, knowing what you want. But knowing what you want in a positive sense. The second secret, using your powerful imagination. Imagining yourself being at your ideal weight. The third secret, ensuring that you're self-taught. Ensuring that everything you're saying to yourself is matching the outcomes that you want in your life. And the fourth and final secret is to keep doing those things inside your mind that will help you reach your ideal weight. To keep doing those things, even though it's the weeks that you have setbacks, to stay focused on the goal, there are the four secrets of real weight loss success. And don't dismiss these things because they seem too easy. Because the easy things in life are the most complex. If you think about it, there's 26 letters in the alphabet. But those 26 simple letters make a dictionary of words. And that dictionary makes an infinite number of sentence combinations. And there was once a time where you couldn't even put three simple letters together. C-A-T to spell cat. Whereas now, you can do it without even thinking about it. The easy things in life are the most complex. If you think about it, there's 10 digits. 1 to 9 and 0. But these 10 simple digits make an infinite numbers of numbers. And there was once a time where you couldn't even put three simple numbers together. One, two, three. Whereas now, you can do it without even thinking about it. The easy things in life are the most complex. And these four simple secrets to weight loss success do and will create wonderful positive change in you. And these suggestions and these ideas now will become more clear for you and will work for you and help you stay determined every single day. Now take a moment to wake up your body and mind so you can return and go about your normal activities. Rub your hands together. Feel your hands waking up. Moving your feet up and down. Waking up your feet and legs. Just sit quietly for a moment with your eyes open. Stretch if you want to. Allowing your body to fully awake. You are on your way to your ideal weight.